हेलो एंड नमस्ते वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यू प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स बिफोर गोइंग अहेड विद द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म विल बी हैविंग अ बिट अ स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म इज यूजफुल फॉर अ मैन्युपुलेशन ऑफ अ डिस्क्रीट डेटा सिक्वेंसेस एंड हैज एक्वायर्ड अ न्यू सिग्निफिकेंस इन द फॉर्मुलेशन एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिस्टम्स it is used extensively in the areas of applied mathematics digital signal processing control theory population science and economics these discrete models are solved with the difference equations in a manner that is analogous to solving continuous models with differential equations the role played by the z transforms in the solution of difference equations correspond correspondence to that played by the laplace transform in the solution of differential equations before moving ahead with the z transforms we need to understand because z transform has been defined on a particular sequence and that's the reason we have to define a prerequisite for something about the sequence and we'll be going in uh, um, brief about the sequences what is sequence sequence is an ordered list it is an ordered list of real or might be a complex numbers the notation for this is curly bracket f of k curly bracket complete this is a sequence now how the representation of a sequence would happen now if we uh, if this is been defined as f of k 15 10 7 4 1 1 0 3 6 everything comprise of my, uh, the comma in between and if there is an arrow below a particular element now in the current case it is the arrow below the 15 that means what in the sequence this particular 15 is at the position of 0 in the particular sequence 10 as the first position 7 second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth position so this position is nothing but by k and k is an index for this particular uh, sequence so if you if you wanted to ask what is the position of 7 in the sequence f of k define here that is the position has been given to as the second position in the sequence it will be always starting with the or at the position k equals to 2 at the position k equals to 6 and so on though the symbol this upward arrow is used to denote the term in the zero position let me just write down here i just remove it here in the zero zero position that is k equals to 0 k is an index of the position of the terms in the sequence again if g of k is there then this 15 10 7 and if you observe there there is a arrow in uh, below 4 elements are same but two sequences f of k and g of k have the same terms but these sequences are not identical though they have the same terms but they are not identically same because the zeroth term of those sequences are different in case the symbol this arrow is not given then the left hand end term is considered left hand end term is considered as the term corresponding to k equals to 0 that means in the sequence 863 this particular sequence the arrow has been not given so in that case we have to consider this 8 or this is as the position 8 zeroth term is 8 which is at the left hand end term of the particular sequence now representation of a sequence the second way of specifying the sequence is to define the general term of the sequence f of k as a function of k that means if we are defining this f of k is equals to 1 upon 3 to the power k then the sequence for this purpose corresponding to this particular function has been defined in this way now if you observe this is 1 upon 3 to the power k so if we are putting k equals to 0 we are we will be getting the value as 1 if you are putting k equals to 1 will be getting the value as 1 upon 3 to the power 1 that is 1 by 3 if k equals to 2 k equals to 3 these are the terms which we are going to get it now again as the range of the sequence has been not given we have to find out all the negative so the sequence is understood that it is going till minus infinity to plus infinity so if what would be the term if k equals to minus of 1 so it would be this is 1 upon 3 to the power k to 3 to the power minus of 1 that is 1 upon 3 to the power minus 1 k equals to minus 2 k equals to minus of 3 so these are the different terms and then again it would be till the infinity it would be again till the 
minus infinity left hand side or uh, then right hand side it would be till infinity now if this f of k so this is about the infinite series like minus infinity to infinity if we are defining the same sequence in the given range what is the range of the k k has been defined in from minus 4 to 4 at that time we have to write down these terms over here so if you observe is k equals to minus 4 k equals to minus 4 would be this is 1 upon 3 to the power k is getting replaced as minus of 4 over here that would be 1 upon 3 to the power minus 4 k equals to minus 3 k equals to minus 2 k equals to minus 1 over here and this is k equals to 0 that is the index term or the, the uh, 0th term in the sequence then k equals to 1 k equals to 2 k equals to 3 we we are not supposed to go beyond this k equals to minus 4 to the negative side we can't go here similarly we can't go further this k equals to 3 we have to define the sequence in the given range and the given range for this particular sequence has been given to us as minus 4 to 3 so these are the terms of the sequence now there are some basic operations on the sequence let f of k and g of k be the two sequences then the addition of them is same as the addition of two uh, different sequence or the numbers you can say but we should have this condition followed so same number of terms we should have in both the sequence then only these operations would be possible the addition would be possible multiplication with the scalar is a into scalar um, um, b then this is a into f of k is a is going inside this every term with the sequence similarly linearity property a into f of k plus b into g of k is nothing but a is getting multiplied with the sequence each term in the sequence f of k b is getting multiplied with the each term of the g, uh, sequence g of k and addition of both of them will gives us the linearity property now we based on the sequence thus whatever the representations and whatever the concepts we have defined on the sequence we have to define the z transform now it's time to define z transform now z transform why, why we have taken the uh, the uh, details about the sequences before because z transform has been defined on a sequence f of k and that's the reason this uh, the slide number two and a three uh, plays very important role to understand the sequences in detail so the z transform of a sequence f of k is defined as z of f of k that is z of f of k if you'll observe here this particular uh, square bracket can be replaced as a round but this curly bracket will remain as it is because sequence has been already uh, always defined in a curly bracket so this is nothing but capital f of z which is equal to summation of f of k is z to the power minus k k is moving from minus infinity to infinity which is equals to now we can uh, even this z to the power minus k can be written in the denominator as z to the power k this is also one of the way to representation of the uh, z transform of the sequence now what is this this z is known as the complex number in the particular expand this particular z transform z is known as the complex number Com capital z is known as an operator for the z transform whatever the operators we have for the laplace transform also we are having the same this is the la the l is nothing but the operator for the laplace transform similarly we have got z is the operator for the z transform and this f of z is known as the z transform of the sequence f of k very very important concept of knowing this z transform is here let us find out the z transform of a very simple sequence 1 upon 2 to the power k is for defined as minus 4 to 4. According to the definition of the z transform it is nothing but summation of k equals to minus 4 to 4 as I have told you. If it is not given we have to consider the, the z transform if you will observe here in the last. It is from minus infinity till plus infinity. But here in this case they have given us the range of minus 4 to 4 and that's the reason by defining the z transform we have to give the summation from k equals to minus k minus 4 to 4 of this sequence 1 upon f of k the f of k in this case has been given to us as this so 1 upon 2 to the power k z to the power minus k keeping the values or starting the values with k equals to minus 4 so if we we'll put k equals to minus 4 in this particular case here so if we are putting k equals to minus 4 everywhere in this case it is 1 upon 2 to the power minus 4 
into z to the power minus of minus 4. So, z to the power minus of minus 4 will give us z to the power 4 and 1 upon 2 to the power minus 4 will give us here nothing but 1, uh, uh, this is nothing but minus 4. So, it is nothing but it has been given to us as 16 because it is 1 upon 2 to the power minus 4 and that is the reason we will be getting it here. The value as 16 in the case over here. Similarly, if we will take this the value of k equals to 3 then it would be z to the power minus of minus 3 that is z to the power 3 over here. Then the second term is 1 upon 2 to the power minus of 3 that is 8. So, we got the second term. Similarly, keeping the minus 2, keeping 1, keeping minus of, uh, keeping 0 here, then keeping 1, 2, 3 and 4 we are going to get this particular sequences over here also, or the terms of the sequence. Therefore, this particular term 1 is at the k equals to 0, this is at 1, this is 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, it is for minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So, this in this way we can have this particular z transform of the given sequence. Therefore, this is the z transform of the sequence 1 upon 2 to the power k. Similarly, if you we'll go ahead and find out the another one, find z transform of the sequence a to the power k, k is moving from greater than or equals to 0. That means the range of the k has been given to us from 0, 1, 2, 3 till infinity, plus infinity. We do not have any minus term uh, in the particular sequence defined. We do not want to find out the z transform of those negative terms. We just wanted to find out 0 and the positive terms. Again, according to the definition, summation of a to the power k, z to the power minus k, summation is moving from 0 to infinity. Moving ahead, this is nothing but 1, <coughs> sorry, 1 plus a by z plus a square by z square plus a cube upon z cube, what we have done it, putting k equals to 0, so this is k equals to 0, k is 1, k is 2, k is 3 and so on, we will be getting this terms. You can easily find out this term, just pause the video at this stage, try to get the sequence over here and then you can get it. Now, in the particular, if you will observe this particular sequence here, this is nothing but the geometrical series and whose sum has been given to us as a upon 1 minus r, where a is nothing but the first term of the sequence and this r is nothing but the common ratio, common ratio from the remaining terms except the first term, right? And therefore, this nothing but f of z or you can say the z transform of the sequence has been given to us as First term in the sequence is this 1 and the common term or the common ratio from for all these remaining terms, you can easily check that that is a by z. Therefore, it is 1, 1 upon 1 minus a by z that is nothing but z upon z minus a is the, is the z transform for the sequence a to the power k in the range my k equals to greater than k greater than equals to 0 for this particular sequence. And therefore, uh, suppose this, this is the uh, z transform you have seen with the particular type of uh, functions like in the form of function. What would happen if the we will be finding out the z transform of the sequence wherein this has been given to us in this format, in the particular format, how to do, how to go about it. So, 15, 10, 7, 4 and so on. So, what we have seen is this k equals k uh, equals to 0, we have the term as 4. So, the remaining terms at this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Similarly, this is minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So, we will be having this as the index for this particular sequence. And therefore, the z transform of the function of the particular sequence has been given to us as 15 into z to the power minus of minus 3. That is nothing but z cube. So, this is what 15. So, it is 15 into z to the power minus k that is 15 into z to the power minus of minus 3 which is nothing but 15 into z cube that is what we got this term as at z equals that cat k equals to minus 3. Suppose we, we, we wanted to have the value of this particular uh, uh, function or z, uh, z transform at z equals to minus 2. So, z equals to minus 2 we have the term here at 10. So, 10 into z to the power minus k. So, the 10 into z to the power minus of minus 2 that is nothing but 10 into z square. This is what we got it as the second term. Similarly, at z equals to at k equals to minus 1, k equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. 
uh, let me just explain you here with the suppose for example here which is the term as k equals to 4 what will happen with the formula with when we have got a positive k here right so suppose we have got the term at k equals to 4 we have got the term as 3 so it's 3 into z to the power minus k it is 3 into z to the power because this 3 is at the index k equals to 4 so z to the power minus of 4 that is nothing but 3 upon z to the power 4 that is what we got this particular term similarly we can we have to find out the other terms corresponding to the element so z transform will have the number of terms those many number of terms are present in the sequence similarly you can just check this and have the have look look at this particular uh, different uh, sequences and their z transforms over here you can just have this this is what we have defined last step and this is all about the introduction about the z transform please stay connected stay tuned for the upcoming sessions based on the z transforms different properties different um, standard uh, z transform of a standard functions then the inverse z transform partial partial fraction method and so many different concepts all together Thank you. Happy learning.